of uh, Maine. What's up with Essex, Essex County College? Uh, one of their professors appeared on Fox News show Tucker Carlson tonight, and she no longer has a job there. He invited Lisa Durton to talk about the choice of Black Lives Matter to block non-blacks from attending their Memorial Day party. He asked Durton how a group that protests being singled out for their race could block others from attending their event based on race, and here's what happened. Boo, hoo, hoo. You white people are angry because you couldn't use your white privilege card whoa, whoa, to get invited Lisa. to the Black Lives Matters All Black Memorial Day celebration. Wow. Now, as Durden continues to explain why a party built as unapologetically black and an exclusive black space would be needed, it got a little ugly, Tom. On this particular day, they said, stay your asses out. We want to <laughs> celebrate today. Okay. We don't want anybody going against us today. And you can't celebrate if someone who doesn't look like you is around? Yes, you can, but you can you're also demented, say, I don't want actually. to do it. It's a personal you're choice. Sick. And what you're saying is disgusting. And if you were a Nazi, I would oh. say the same thing to you. Luckily, I'm not because a Nazi. Because what you're saying is indistinguishable from what they are saying. Well, she was first suspended with pay. And then when she got to the campus, June 8th, uh, that took place two days after her appearance, but then she got fired. President Dr. Anthony Moreau said they got feedback from people expressing frustration and fear that her views would negatively affect the campus. Lisa Jones is right now. So, okay, so you get fired because precisely what? That's very interesting. Two, I went to the campus on the 7th, taught my class, came back on and what the class were you teaching? Oh, actually, I was teaching summer session one, which was uh, effective speech. Uh, ironically, then the second day I came, I came to work. When I came into the building and up the stairs, uh, Dr. Rivera, who, who is the head of the English department, was told to meet me at the stairs and to march me to my class and tell them that I'm, the class is being canceled. And my class knows, I told them, if I'm not in this class by a quarter after, I'm either dead or the cops have stopped me on the street. I'm never absent. Or that could be the same thing. Well, I, um, I, right, so, wow. so that, was, that was where they literally let me embarrass myself in front of the students and then they marched me to HR and she, the lady simply said, just for the quickness, you're being suspended because, she said, you're being suspended as of today and we're going to suspend you till otherwise notified and you'll get paid to the end of the semester, which was a week left. So, so, so the university president, did he not like what you had to say? Did not like how you said it? That's a good question. In the letter, in the actual suspension letter, there was no mention of why they suspended me. I asked the HR person, well, why are you suspending me? She said, verbally, she said, well, you went on this show called Tucker and you were on there according to a complaint we received mentioning your affiliation with the college. And so I said, well, no, I was on there speaking about Black Lives Matter and I was there as a political commentator as the title showed and made no mention of the college. Although, when people are on shows and they say so-and-so from Yale and so-and-so from Princeton, that's a credential. I should have been able to, <laughs> but I'm a new professor this semester, so I forget to call myself a professor. Luckily, I did. But then I said, so now that I've answered that question, why am I being suspended? Her next answer was, well, that's what we're looking into now. We want to see if there's a conflict of interest. Okay. Uh, a conflict of you going on a show. Those were her words. I just took the, and then she shot me the letter. The letter was signed by Dr. Lee, the vice president. And that was, that was a suspension letter. Correct, and he was sitting right there, but she handed me the letter with his own signature on there. And then, th then a couple days later, then they say, no, nope, you're fired. No, tw almost two weeks later. So two weeks later, all of a sudden, you're coming up with the reason, and the reason is, according to what the, pre the president released, Mr. Monroe, that they, re they received all of these complaints from students and concerned teachers and, and, and faculty. So interestingly, you suspended me two days later with all these so-called complaints and they didn't materialize until two weeks later? Where are they? We Professor, even you are not apologizing for what you said. Tom Jordan, I love you. Where are I love it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Listen, You're not I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Have, now, have you been offered a job at an HBCU? Well, I am being contacted. Inbox me. I, I got time if you got time. So, <laughs> I got time if you got time. So, so actually, so I'm thinking it's questionable. So, so remember, we, uh, about, uh, I think, the 20th, they had a Board of Trustees meeting. You should see it. Everybody was there talking about how fantastic I was as a pro uh, professor, mm -hmm. students, parents, teachers. Where were these so-called imaginary folks that they're talking about? Where were they when we had a press conference, some organization called Faculty <laughs> and Students 
unite to hashtag reinstate Lisa Dur Professor Lisa Durden. Where were they at the rally and the press conference? They're, I don't know about, that's very curious, these magic, these imaginary people that they're saying now, two weeks later, what, what's complain. The, what's the percentage of black students at Essex County College, which is a, which is a community I mean, college there, correct? Right. Newark is a mostly black city, but we have other cultures, and it's a mostly black and brown city, black and brown college. So I'm going to say there's a very small percentage of white. The rest are maybe a large percentage of black and some other. So Essex County College is predominantly black? And Dr. Lee is African American, so is Mr. Monroe, the vice president and the president. Absolutely, oh, the administration what, what? is black. Oh, that's that. Oh, okay. And, and that's and white. So you're not you're not a minority amongst the faculty either. Absolutely not. When I came home from the the Tucker Carlson show, and be real clear, that was a debate. I wasn't there to play games. I was there to take a bite out of crime. <laughs> okay? Mm. In other words, so I marched in there to debate with him. I'm not there to be nice to you, but when a black woman's on television who is direct, who's aggressive, we're angry. Well, when 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 Judge Jeanine Pirro's on TV pointing and <laughs> screaming and yelling, she's intelligent. And when Nancy Grace is coming on television, she's intelligent. Well, I'm an expert. I'm a journalist and a documentary filmmaker that also does feature films. So I'm in front of the camera and behind the camera. So why can't I come on there and be aggressive and talk in the same vein as any expert in the field of pop culture, mm. politics, and social issues? Those are my expertise. I have a degree from Seton Hall University in journalism. Mm. Stop playing. So now when I do it, I'm not intelligent. When they do it, oh, they're, they're amazing. They're intelligent. <laughs> they're fantastic. Uh -huh, right. Stop you know it. where does the, the freedom of speech play a part in any of this discussion? Right. So my 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 attorney, um, Leslie Farber, said that she feels like um, they didn't stand behind my right to free speech. Right. And so I happen to agree. I was on there as myself. Got it. And I had free speech, but they punished me for it. I had the free speech, but they said because of that, beat it. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, I think we'll make a call to Dr. Lee. <laughs> oh! See, see, what, see what his response Dr. Lee, answer the call. This whole deal and, what's, and, and what's your next step? Well, that's Are you interesting. Suing? Well, well, we a asked my lawyer, but I'm open for whatever. But since this has happened, it was bad news. But the good news is that a lot of people are hitting me up to teach at their schools and talk on panels, and that's what I do anyway. So it's perfect. <laughs> Lisa Dark, call me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll appreciate it. <laughs> I'm available. I'm available. <laughs> yes. Lisa, yeah. You got time. Black I got time. Black <laughs> Black Lives Matter for black Absolutely. people only. I like it. I ain't got a problem with it. I'm, I'm for it. Past the hour. Next time, Sybil, or City Lisa, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, we come back on News 1 now for the second time with Miss Trial Declared.